I call this meeting to order at 4.33 p.m. on April 5th, two, um, 2022. This meeting is being recorded and streamed live. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, uh, on Facebook and is available on demand at FATV.org and also on Fitchburg Access TV tele, um, channel. Please keep that in mind when the meeting is being um, when making any comments, be aware of how your screen may appear and that our meetings are open to the public. The Fitchburg Cultural Council is a nonprofit volunteer body that is part of the city of Fitchburg's government and the state entity. The Mass Cultural Council, um, the Mass Cultural Council. The PR subcommittee specifically focuses on council's uh, public relations. This is a non-voting subcommittee. Any vo voting decisions are brought to the large council, we meet, which meets monthly every third Tuesday at 4.30 PM. Um, all right, so uh, to start, um, Eileen, do you wanna uh, make an announcement? Um, yes, uh, and I'll put it in the minutes. Um, I'm not going to apply for a second, uh, I, uh, a second three year um, uh, membership. Um, I've got uh, a lot of things to do and some health issues and it's really um, spread too thin, I believe. So um, I will follow up, I will finish off the year 2021 as grant coordinator. I've already finished 2020. In fact, the, some of the last uh, 2020 programs are are uh, are going on now in March and uh, April. I'll finish up 2021 and I'll follow through with uh, 2022. Um, and I'm hoping by the time the end of the fiscal year comes, someone else will take over 2022. I will tell you, it's a lot better shape than uh, what I received for 2020 and 2021. So. Um, so it's with sadness I say that I'm moving on. We appreciate you, Eileen, and all of your hard work, especially stepping in uh, for Jim uh, when uh, he resigned and also just when we were uh, initially looking for a co-treasurer, uh, being the one willing to step up for it when everyone, <laughs> no one else really wanted to, um, and then uh, taking over fully for him <laughs> and, and continuing and as the grant coordinator. Yeah, and thank heavens. Uh, uh, oh, I'm trying. <laughs> thank heavens I was replaced as treasurer. No. <laughs> I'm sure you did a lovely job, but uh, probably lightened the workload a lot. Yeah. Um, and, and we've appreciated you uh, setting up a, um, a PR plan as well for the year. Um, all right. So, um, First on the agenda is scholarship. Um, I don't know if anyone else has anything to report about it, but um, we've got a couple of ap applications um, sent to our inbox. I'm leaving that um, for Tamar to uh, forward that to the Women's um, uh, Caucus um, for review. Um, I don't know if anyone else- Only has have about two? Only have about two applications, or um, as far as I've noticed, um, I've seen a couple. There might have been more that I just didn't see. Um, in terms of advertising, I know that we had the um, press release, right? Um, I that the press release was done by the either uh, the Women's Caucus or um, Tamar. We really didn't have anything to do with the with the press release. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I don't even think I've seen a copy of the press release. That'd be good to have anyway, just so we know how to answer questions on it if they came up. Yeah, um, I think I have it somewhere. Um, okay. Scholarship. Um, so what's the deadline for, um, It's know? coming up. Um, it's yeah. April 15th, I believe. Um, okay. I did uh, make a mini flyer. I um, I've been for FCC TV. I made a bunch of um, like slides uh, promoting our different events, um, including the scholarship. So we have a PSA out there on FATV um, 
uh, mentioning the scholarship along with um, the Creative Meet and Greet, the Spring Bazaar, and Fitchburg Open Studios. And then I took all of those slides and printed them out as quarter sheets and put them um, put them in one bulletin board in the Fitchburg Community Bulletin Board um, on Mill Street and Main Street. Um, and that um, and we posted it on Facebook um, and Instagram a little bit about it. Just to flesh out the minutes, could you just uh, send me kind of a bulleted thing of what you just said? I'd like to include that in the minutes. Sure thing. Okay. And I'm not sure I'd get it right just listening to you. So I want to have it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while I'm sharing the screen, um, I might as well share uh, the community bulletin board in which um, I updated with um, our community calendar, uh, the, uh, the scholarship. It says two high school seniors who will be majoring in the arts will be granted $500 talk to your teacher at Fitchburg High School, Sizer School, St. Bernard's, or Montechusa Regional Vocational Technical School for an application. Email us at fitchburg.mcc at gmail.com. Deadline is April 15th, and it has the logo for a uh, Women's Caucus for Arts um, and Enterprise Bank. Um, and then the it's very good, Audrey. I think it looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, um, yeah, I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of copied text from uh, what Tamar had written in the press release. Then here's the creative meet and greet networking event, Thursday, April 28th, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at River Sticks Brewing, 166 Boulder Drive, Fitchburg, Mass. Uh, the Spring Bazaar. It looks like it didn't cut it great, but I should fix that. Um, <laughs> uh, May 7th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Fitchburg City Hall, vendor registration, tinyurl.com slash FCC Spring Bazaar. And last weekend of September, Fitchburg Open Studios, www.fitchburgopenstudios.com. Artist registration is now open. Deadline July 1st. Save $15 if you register by June 1st. I think that's all of them. Um, okay. Yeah. Does anyone else have anything else to add about the scholarship? Do you want me to find the press release and share it? Share screen it might be now? good because most, I don't think most of us know, you know, we've talked about it, but I haven't seen anything written. So, you know, to share it with the rest of the committee might be a good idea. And they might know, some, and people might know someone who might want to apply. So that would be good too. Yeah, absolutely. Scholarship. Ah, here it is. Let me share this. Looks really good, actually. This is the first I've seen it, but that looks really good. Um, do we have it in our files, you know, in, a, in the special folders? Oh, we do. Okay. That's actually okay. how I found it. I was trying to find it through email, but then I found it in um, uh, in our folders. Under what, what, under what title? Um, I think it's under projects and events, projects, okay. and then um, in... Uh, a uh, visual scholarship. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> okay. The word scholarship's in there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this one, I think this is probably the same thing. She probably just made it into okay. a PDF. Mm. Yeah, this looks like the same. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, next, Fitchburg Open Studios. Um, 
the application is now live. Um, Okay, I haven't done anything on Fitchburg Open Studios because I wrote a press release on um, the meet and greet and mm -hmm. another one on the Spring Bazaar. And I mm -hmm. thought that was just too many to start handing in at the same time, really, you know? <laughs> so, um, you know, what would happen would be maybe they'd shove it all together and it wouldn't be as good as we would have liked. Yeah. So um, the other thing is I'd like to, I think I need to talk to Tamar to get something a little more color. You know, we could mm -hmm. talk about things to color it, it made it a little more exciting than just about opening the, uh, Maybe there's something new this year that we haven't talked about or something like that. So I will get on that um, and have it out before the full meeting. Awesome. Yeah, sounds good. Um, all I know is the um, early deadline is June is June 1st um, and the, the concrete absolute deadline is June 15th. Okay, no, wait, so no, could... wait. This doesn't look right, actually. I thought it was um, July 1st. Yeah, it sounds kind of early, oh, yeah, really. But that's what okay, she wrote on yeah, here, yeah, so absolutely. might have to um, get that updated. Mm. Um, I, I sort of see us getting out the getting it out the uh, 1st of May, you know, the press release, or maybe mm -hmm. a little before the 1st of May. Mm -hmm. um, so that gives time, you know, that gives a newspaper and it would come out during art week. So that could be nice. Yeah. Um, what about, um, I don't know whether, you know, we're, I guess we're doing some things during art week. Um, you know, we're having the spring bazaar. So would we be able to have um, uh, these uh, uh, applications available? Are we having a table at the spring bazaar? I would imagine we would. Why, maybe we could yeah. have um, the applications at a table along with our other stuff. Um, yeah, a paper application. Yeah, yeah. Um, for Fitchburg Open Studios. Yes. That's a great idea because we could also like walk around with a clipboard and just go to all of the artists that are selling their artwork at the Spring Bazaar. Um, yeah, and we, could some, we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> what have you signed up? Sign up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> want to sign up for another thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, why not? There's a whole, it'll be like a whole building full of artists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, whatever. I think that's a good idea. Paper. Yeah, that, that's an excellent idea. Okay. Um, I haven't heard from Liz if there's anything else that she wanted to report about the Spring Bazaar. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we were on Open Studios. Oh, I skipped Spring Bazaar. I was supposed to talk about Spring Bazaar first. Um, all right, I'll finish up with Open Studios. Um, oh, uh, Liz um, got the donation link working. Um, for registration of Open Studios and Spring Bazaar. Um, she doesn't have it set up on our uh, our City Hall page yet um, because she thought that she had access to it. She doesn't actually, so she's gonna request access. Um, but- I wonder if that's the link that I had in the press release. I mean, it well, could be a the, problem. Um, I, I don't know. I, you know, I didn't, this was so, something I didn't know very well at all. Yeah. Um, probably. Uh, I mean, you probably didn't have the, the don, um, the, the, the donation, the donation link in there because, um, I have right, a sign up link in there, as I recall. That's, that's good. Yeah. yeah okay all right that's good because um i know for the spring bazaar what liz has been doing is she's having people sign up first and then she's vetting them to make sure um that they're an actual relevant um application um and then saying all right you've been approved to be a vendor um here's the payment link so she's so not everyone who signs up for the Spring Bazaar has to register um, 
has to um, pay a registration fee. They only get that fee um, when they're approved. Okay, I see. Yeah. All right, well. And for open studios, because it hasn't been set up yet, um, right now, Tamar is just having people send checks to um, City Hall. Um, but I think she will probably update it um, with the direct link for the payment page, which is the same as the all the other City Hall payment pages. Are the um, is the uh, is the cost for City Hall? Um, I haven't seen a list of those yet. I guess they're probably different because you're not going to have any outside for FOS for open um, studios. For open studios, yeah, the cost is the same. It's um. It's $35 if paid um, before June 1st or by June 1st. Um, if um, it's $50 if paid by June 15th or like registered by. And it doesn't have anything to do with size, which we were talking about size for the spring bazaar. You could have a, there was a, a small exhibit size, a large exhibit size. I'll talk with uh, Tamar. She, you know, I, as I say, I've already written the spring bazaar. Yeah. Um, so I'll talk with Tamar and see what she wants to do for sure, because we're not having things outside. That's for sure. Um, well, so you're talking about two different events. Um, yes, I am. So the, the prices that I just quoted are for Fitchburg Open Studios. Yes, um, I know. And the Spring Bazaar is the one that's going to have different booth sizes, which yes, is going to be the put... smallest booth size is $20, middle yeah, is I already 25. Wrote that. And I already wrote that in the press release and it's gone, at least out of my mm -hmm. hands. Now it's yeah. with Matt, I suppose. So, but I hadn't really, I haven't seen any information at all about the FOS. So I really do have to talk with Tamar to find yeah. out what's going on there. It's still a bit early on. Um, yes, it is. Um, yeah, okay. And okay. all right, so I guess we might as well talk about the Spring Bazaar now. Um, uh, I, I noticed that Liz has started um, approving uh, vendors. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's where we're at right now. Um, you sent out a press release. Or I, I sent it to Matt. I always let Matt send out the press releases. He's kind of like my editor. Oh, okay. Excellent. Um, and we, uh, I made this graphic for it of uh, okay. the ones of the vendors. I, I, I shared it with you, Eileen. Uh, did this make it to uh, the... Yes. Excellent. I asked Liz to choose something. Myself, I was looking so, like for some more active picture, but I don't know, maybe you don't have one. Ideally, yeah. you'd like to see a bunch of people fighting over stuff at somebody's booth. <laughs> That'd be great. So that'll make Ben, you know, um, but sort of an action shot. I think that's something that we should definitely keep in mind um, for the Spring Bazaar when we're taking photos, because um, I took a lot of the photos, but my main prerogative was just highlighting the specific vendors. And then like with yeah, Instagram, yeah. the way how they're like, oh, it has to be in portrait mode if you want to do it this way, which I don't think actually looks that great, but I was just like, do, 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 But I, like, you know, when you asked that question, I was like, man, I wish that we had taken more photos like that. Um, okay, well, you can take them then at this upcoming one and then we'll use them for the uh, FOS. Winter Bazaar or, yeah. um, or next year's Spring Bazaar. So, okay, so. All right, anything else for the Spring Bazaar? Nothing except uh, I'm sure it's exciting to think about. Mm -hmm. um, All right, just one more thing. Awesome. I was hoping that I um I 
um, I added the PSA that I was talking about onto the drive, but I don't see it on here. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, I guess next is FCC TV. Um, so um, we had to cancel yesterday's taping because it's cold season and everyone's a little bit sick. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we've decided just to do um, a uh, virtual interviews instead, um, in which Casey is coordinating with our guests um, of when to do Zoom interviews. Um, however, we did um, uh, tape a new opener. Uh, Sam and I did that. Um, where, do I have it on here? I thought I had. I thought I put it in the drive. Um, Hmm. Opening credits. I can't. I can't find it. Maybe next time I'll share it. Um, but Sam, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, uh, Sam, help me. Um, oh, Shara's in the meeting. Oh, she's an attendee. Okay, sorry, Shara. Uh, promote to panelists. There she is. Hi, Shara. Thanks for texting me. Oh, hi, Shara. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I, like, I felt like I was in, in purgatory. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> like I, I kept raising my hand. <laughs> oh, no. So sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It happened. Would you would you like to speak on any of the things that um, um that, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm I'm involved with some of those things, but I think you guys covered pretty much all of it. Um, I don't know. Are there? How how is the cultural council involved with um with may like um art week arts week yeah i think just with the spring bazaar because i know there's a there's a lot of other things happening i don't know if we want to promote other things or only things that the cultural council is specifically you know promote like working on yeah no um i think we absolutely should be um just because you know as a cultural organization for fitchburg uh, the different things that we're doing. Um, I've just been doing it as an individual, um, less so than as like a um, representative of the cultural council. And also just like mentioning that Spring Bazaar is happening during Art Week. Right. So I want to mention also that during the Spring Bazaar, one of the Community Mural Institute teams is going to be doing their paint party in the parking lot. Love Your it. What party? Pink paint party. Paint, paint party. Oh. Basically, we're we're gonna involve the community in, um, in painting these murals, which are getting painted on this. Um, it's kind of like parachute material, and and then they're gonna be mounted to the walls, and and this way, like anybody who wants to be involved can can participate. It'll be like a giant paint by numbers kind of thing. That sounds like fun. Yeah, you should come join us. The other ones. What day is that going to be? Um, there are three different teams. Two of them are going to be on Thursday, May fifth, during the block party for First Thursday. I believe they're going to be in front of New View on Main Street, and the third one is going to be on Saturday the seventh, and it's going to be in the parking lot at City Hall during the bazaar. Nice. Yeah. They're going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be an artist. Awesome. Is that, um, do, do you happen to know um, what times those are happening at? Or is it just during the same hours as um, the in the same hours as week? I don't have morning? it right in front of me. Um, I think that the two on Thursday, one is from three to five and one is from five to seven. And the one on Saturday is 
between 10 and four. I'm not sure they've finalized the time yet. Okay. We'll be, we'll be putting out PR about that stuff as well. Excellent. Yeah. I, um, I, um, I emailed Monique about um, what the schedule was so that when I was doing the PSA for all the different things that are happening, right. um, that I could create a, a slide for our art week. Um, but and she's doing it all for in town. Yeah. And I feel like the reimagine North of Maine has kind of like, they, they have the whole itinerary kind of like, it seems like it. Yeah. Um, the, if they're not, it seems like it would be a good idea. Cause I know I was like, all right, we got to make sure that we tell Monique that we're doing it so that they include us in their promotion. Of right. It. No, I definitely think that all the arts week things are being like they're keeping a, a, a master list of everything that's happening. I know that Good. the light festival is um, is also going to be happening on the fifth. Yeah. In the evening, it's going to be from like six six to nine, I think. And it's mm -hmm. going to be up at the at the upper commons. Who's the uh, primary communicator for this? Uh, is it New View or is it? Who's I, the organizer? Actually, I guess I should say. I think it's in town, actually. Which is um, uh, in town, uh, the Umbrella Corporation, or I don't know. Um, it's the, Reimagine he, North he of Maine. Might, yeah, it's Reimagine North of Maine um, with the like, Joe Ferguson and Monique Guthrie is the um, is the downtown coordinator, um, or rather in town coordinator as it's being rebranded. Um, so I think she's so they're probably a putting a list into the newspaper for it. And maybe if they'd share that list with us, we could, you know, promote it in some way. Is that possible? That's totally possible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can, I can actually talk to Monique about that. Um, I know that they're, they're, they have it on their website, like as, as it's coming through, not everything is like finalized yet, mm -hmm. but I think they're, they're working toward it. And there are, you know, more events coming up as, yeah. as, you know, as people step up. But that whole first week starting on actually April 30th and going through May 10th, that's all art week. Actually, I think they're trying to, they're changing it to start April 27th because. Um, oh, right. Yeah. College stuff. Um, FSU is opening up their um, their art gallery. They, they have a gallery opening um, starting April 27th. And it seems like they're doing a whole bunch of showcases as well um, between the game design department and um, maybe even Forge Theater. I don't, I'm, I'm like not going to say theory. things that might not be true. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think Forge Theater, but there's a, a theater, there's a theater thing at Oh, isn't that Forge Theater is is the one at the school? Yes, I think there is something with them as well. I created a slide. I cannot find where I put that thing. Um, oh, actually, I can share it right here. Sorry, half the time that I'm <laughs> during these meetings, I'm just trying to find files to share. Um, so these are um, the confirmed events. I wasn't sure if um, the CMI parties were confirmed or yet or not, but I can add those on there. I, I, um, I think they are, but until we get our public PR, I, you know, like it's still. Yeah, yeah. it can always be updated. <laughs> I'm happy to, you know, I'm happy to give you the, the times and dates. Um, Please do, yeah, email it to me. Um, Nate told me that um, City Hall now has a um, TV where it's like kind of a digital um, digital billboard in which they're putting up event slides on it so that like, you know, it's kind of like a sl slideshow that goes periodically on there. So I'm gonna send them all the slides that I made for um, Spring Bazaar and scholarship and open studios and creative meet and greet. And I'll also probably send them the art week um one as well um as long as uh it seems accurate to those involved i don't want to like announce something that um <laughs> the organizers aren't ready for it to be announced yet um but i sent that to monique 
Right. Although I guess technically by sharing this, perhaps I'm like low key promoting it. I don't know. She said this is confirmed. So she said that this is okay to promote. Right. I know that I saw another thing that um, Magic Treasures, the store up near the Ooh. commons, is doing yeah. something on that Thursday as well. Cool. And yeah, so I think that I think there are there are definitely things popping up and more things happening. Excellent. Um, okay. All right. So uh, anything else that you want to add about scholarship, Spring Bazaar, or Fitchburg Open Studios, Sheriff? Nope. Okay. Um, so FCC TV, our next taping will be, um, I think, it will be um, Monday, April 25th. Um, we will, we should be having uh, the um, music dance.edu's um, hip hop um, classes for seniors, um, as well as um, Wachusett Meadow uh, Wildlife Sanctuary, um, talking about their sensory friendly days. Um, I don't remember if we funded them for that for FY22, but um, we made this plan uh, back in FY21, so uh, that'll be great. And by the way, I, I finally found some video footage of musicdance.edu's uh, classes from uh, the um, Gables of Pittsburgh's Facebook group or Facebook page. Um, it was like a video from like back in like 2018 or something like that but it looks like really cute <laughs> um does anyone else have anything else to say about fcc tv no um I'm lucky to have them <laughs> uh hopefully um the interviews for the latest episode will be um, recorded this week um, with Casey um, and I will I'm gonna try my best to get it out um, by April 13th um, Wednesday at 8 p.m. because one of the things that we will be promoting on the show is the Fitchburg Cultural Alliance's um, uh, uh, directory uh, that uh, oh. North Central Mass Arts and Culture Directory, and their deadline for um, for the catalog is um, April fifteenth. And it's a really neat thing because not only do you um, is it a physical catalog that is distributed like um, for free, um, like you know all over the area. Um, they also have a online flip book of it, which it has live links on there um, in which you can click like, you know, when it says like Cher Osgood artist, like this is her website and you can literally click on that link and it'll pop up her website or, or her email address. And then it'll click on there and you can send Cher an email and say, I would like uh, a portrait done of myself. <laughs> Um, and uh, I'll, I will also be promoting, uh, oh, um, the Worcester Chamber Music Society's performance of Looking East at um, the Fitchburg Art Museum, in which there are free tickets uh, for Fitchburg residents. Uh, we funded that ticket subsidy. So if there are any Fitchburg residents that would like to go to that performance um, and um, would like to snag one of those limited free tickets. Um, I think they just need to probably just start with emailing uh, the Worcester Chamber Society about how to do Tracy that. Krause? I don't remember. Tracy Krause, I think, the yes. Worcester Chamber. Yes. Okay. There, there was a process, but I don't remember what she told me right now off the top of my head. Okay. Um, uh, remaining assignments status report. 
Okay. Um, all right. So all the 22 grant announcements and TV show things was on me and I'm super slacking. So <laughs> that's still <laughs> um, scholarship PR. Chamar will get packaged ready to send to Monty Tech and Claudia will bring to Monty Tech. Um, hopefully that happens. Um, I haven't seen a graphic design by Casey for creative meet and greet. Um, I made a flyer um, and someone made a Facebook event. Um, Wait, did I not have the creative meet and greet as one of the agenda items? Yeah, but we talked about it. So no, it's not one of the items. Okay. We talked okay. about it. Okay. Um, uh, did, did you have anything else that you, I don't know, since you're kind of like the lead organizer for it, is there anything else that you needed from us? For that? No, I don't. Um, except that, you know, you're, you're doing your communications to get the word out to everybody. So uh, okay. we'd like to be nice to have a good number of people there. Yeah. Um, Sharon, Sam, will you guys be there? I'm sorry. Will you be at the creative meet and greet? Yes. I will. It is definitely it my plan to be there. <laughs> yeah, it should be interesting. Be there, yeah, I'll be there. The uh, the what the co-owner is going to give us a talk about how they put that art together and and what her thought was about having all this Greek mythology in a beer bar. So um, I think it'll be interesting. So awesome. Um. I'm not sure who created the Facebook event, but someone did. Um, uh, someone oh. made a Facebook event for the creative meet and greet. Oh, great. Look at that. That's good. That's the picture that um, they sent us. Oh, um, perfect. I yeah, so that's their art, if you want to take a look at it. Um, I would have wanted them to face the pic the, to face us, you know, in front of the art, but um, they didn't have a picture like that. So that's what we're going with. Well, I think it's nice because it, uh, it looks like they're looking at the art. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's, invites, a, that's why they liked it. It looked like, the, you know, they but it invites the other art. people to look at the art too. And since it's yes. a creative meet and greet, it's about art and creativity. Yeah. I think yeah. it's okay. I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, All I think right. it's good. I think it's nice that um, Jackie and Scott are going to be talking about the mural, but I think the main point is it's a networking event, right? Yeah. But you have to have people there to think they spent their time well to, you know, learn something too. So. Um, and then I think uh, uh, the press release was copied and pasted in here. I feel like oh, yeah. I had a question about this and that I was gonna ask you, Eileen, about, but I don't remember what that was, so I don't know. Maybe okay. I'll send you an email. <laughs> too late now, the press release is out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it was more about this event, uh, uh, like something okay. about um, confirming information. But I don't know. Okay, no if you remember, now. send me an email. Yeah, um, Shara, Sam, you guys are active on Facebook, right? Pretty much. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to invite um, local creatives to to the event. Um, Will do. Okay. I will. Excellent. Yes, share it. Uh, do assignments. What time is this? Five twelve. Okay. Um. Spring bazaar promotions. Somewhere I saw that I was given the job of um, going over last year's input uh, survey and making sure, but I don't. I could somebody send me last year's input survey so that I can uh, uh, maybe brush it up a little bit? Yeah, honestly, I was a little bit confused by that that one too. It says Eileen will continue development of a survey for attendees of FCC funded programs. 
Yeah, um, I think that was the input survey. We were going to be handing it out to if if we got if we could put together a list of people who could attend some of the events and mm -hmm. talk about FCC and maybe get the input of people who are attending the events. That would be a good thing. I thought okay. I don't know whether we'll be able to get all that together. I have no problem with going over the uh, particular survey list and um, you know maybe bringing it more up to date. Okay, I mean, I know that um, have... Casey's working on the public input survey. Oh, um, she is, okay, well then that's yeah. fine. That's fine, um, I saw my, I, that's I think, what... I think, yeah. Has anyone sent feedback to Casey about it? I know that Tamar had said that she was gonna send out the last year's one and then uh, we could send Casey the feedback by the 31st, but I don't know if that ever happened because I definitely forgot about sending I didn't her get one. feedback. Yeah. All yeah, right, we I'll, I'll, just, a... I'll just send one. Um, okay. I'll try to do that. Um, uh, and put the deadline in so we all remember yeah. that. Yeah. Um, great. Um, so maybe uh, Eileen, either you'd like to work with Casey about it, or maybe you can just give her the feedback, um, and she'll include I'll it. I'll do it that way. It's Casey's. It's Casey's running it. I somehow thought it got handed to me. Well, it was. I had that point on there beforehand. But then like I was confused about it. I wasn't sure if that was like specifically the public input survey or if it was something else. And then um, uh, Casey uh, volunteered um, to do it during the last meeting. So I, I don't know. Hey Sam, yeah. who you got with you? Who's that? Yeah, my, I got me, my little one. My son oh, Cedric. Oh hi, how are you? You bombing your father's yeah. photo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that's great. Course. All right, Cedric, thank was you. it? Yes, yeah, Cedric. Hi, Cedric. Hi. 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 You got a pretty cool t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, why don't we just leave it that I'll, uh, it, you know, when you send them out, I'll if I see anything or think of something, I'll send it some input. Sounds That's the good. easiest thing to do. Um. I did email Jesse about available dates for FAM, but um, I haven't um, about having the public input meeting there. Um, I haven't heard back yet. Um, okay. So I'll, I'll give her a little nudge or if anyone sees Jesse, give her a nudge about that. Yeah. Um, and updating the city hall webpage, I still have not done. I apologize, uh, Shara Samuel, uh, for not having you on the website. Um, I will get on that. Um, like I say, every meeting because I'm behind. Yeah. Um, and then newsletter, Casey and Liz, but neither of them are here. So we'll check in with them next time about how the newsletter is going. And I think that's all that I have. Um, does anyone have any PR that they wanted to be approved? No, not me. All right. Um, cool. Um, I guess I guess I do in that I'm working on the library mural, which was you know grant funded in 2021. Mm -hmm. Um. And, you know, I just, I don't know, um, I've been trying to post on like Instagram and stuff like that, but um, I don't know, I don't know what I wanted to say about it other than I'm working on it and hopefully it's, you know, if we get some more good weather next week, it might be done next week. Um, so we're so going to have rain. Be done, it'll be done before the end of the year then? Uh, the end oh, of the absolute, fiscal year? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I drove by. Um, I drove by the library, and I, I saw. I saw that. Um, some of the the start of it. I was like, oh, sure. Sorry, right, well, I worked there. on it yesterday too, and and today I just couldn't get out. And we're gonna have rain for the next like four or five days, so, but so maybe next week. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. You know, April showers, right? Yeah, yeah. but there's not <laughs> not a whole lot more left to do. So it's like, you know. Once I'm out there, 
I mean, yesterday, yesterday, so much of it was taping. And then I think I spent a half hour painting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's the, all the I needed. The work is important. <laughs> it is. It's a big part of it. And, you know, it, it's part of what makes it work. People don't always understand that. And they don't always know what they're looking at either, especially when it's, in, you know, not done. But. Well, the, the, when they see like um, uh, the start of a mural, it, I feel like it just gets people excited of like, oh, what's going to be there? Something's coming. Yeah, so. yeah, it's definitely, you know, I mean, even just, it was just the hearts, like people were like, oh, that's so cool. So yeah. Um, yeah, feel free to share that on the Cultural Council group. Um, if you want, I can make you an admin on uh, the uh, Fitchburg Cultural Council page and you can share the photo. Um, make sure to That'd add that good. tagline of uh, um, the, the credit tagline yes, that absolutely. Mass Cultural Council requires. Um, and and then, then we can share it on our Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I will I will tag the cultural council and I will tag um the I don't yeah, know. Yeah, tag Fitchburg Cultural Council and the Mass Cultural Council. Right. And you know what? You could tag the public library because it's at the public library. Of course. I would tag too. all all the things. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Absolutely. Um, so last thing, I'm just gonna share our uh, our community calendar. Actually, maybe I should do this on the City Hall web page rather than on here. Um, um, so let's see here. Uh, events that are coming up. Uh, Matt, um, sorry, um, Zach Boss has been doing um, Abolitionist Voices um, Community Publishing Workshop. Um, I know that it got a little bit of a postponement of starting, um, but his website seems to indicate that it's been the same dates. Um, so that, um, that's been happening on Saturdays. Uh, from 10 30 a.m to 12 p.m um i think it's like every two weeks or something like that they're a little bit sporadic um you can see on our calendar um the um, fcc funded events by there being a star next to it so um new players theater guilds um baby um is doing auditions monday april 11th and tuesday april 12th um so if you're an actor and uh, the deadline for the Spring Bazaar registration is Sunday, April 17th. Monday, April 11th is the deadline uh, to submit scripts um, for, um, for plays on climate change to the Force Theater Lab. Uh, Stratton Players is doing a play reading meeting um, on April 21st. I think it is basically there. Um, it's just an informal, just if anyone wants to read, um, you know, read out a play. Uh, they've been doing that um, at uh, libraries. This will be at the Lemon Sterling Public Library on Thursday, April 21st. Um, looking East at the Fitchburg Art Museum by Worcester Chamber Music Society is Friday, Friday April 22nd. Um, and if you're a Fitchburg resident, make sure to, um, and if, if you need to, uh, if uh, there's a need for it, um, to try to get one of those free tickets. Otherwise, they're $30 to $40. Um, and... We have our creative meet and greet Thursday, April 28th, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, and Shara, is this still happening on Saturday, April 30th, the uh, Low Park Pride community painting on Saturday, April 30th? Um, no, that actually got postponed. That shouldn't oh. be up there. If, I will if, <laughs> yeah. I will change that. 
Do you know what um, what day that's postponed to? No, it's 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 put off for for um, for at least a year. Okay. Uh, we are there is a plan to actually do a a variation of that project and do a chalk painting party. I am meeting with the Parks Commission next Tuesday to present to them and we'll be pre presenting to the Cultural Council about the adjustments um, All right. in the next meeting. Sounds good. Cool. Um, and then uh, as we've been talking about, um, Art Week is coming up uh, May 1st through 10th um, in which uh, there'll be a light Light Festival on April, uh, May 5th, which we didn't fund, but it's a cool thing that's happening along with First Thursdays and FAM, so uh, Fitchburg Art Museum is always free on the first Thursday of the month. Um, and uh, there'll be a workshop um, Saturday, May 7th and the Spring Bazaar, uh, May 7th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at City Hall. Um, there will be vendors um, on all three floors of City Hall, um, as well as um, some outside. And I guess there will be a, um, a paints party going on in the parking lot, which is very exciting. Um, and then it's Mother's Day. All right. Um, I think that's it. Um, is there anything else that anyone wants to say about agenda points? All right, great. It is 5.25 p.m. I uh, call this meeting adjourned.